Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jim Lemmy, and welcome to Store Review. This is a stupid joke. Let's continue. Hi, everybody. Uh, over the last couple of weeks, we've been doing a lot of shopping for our hobbies and for the channel. And uh, last weekend, we uh, came to the conclusion that there are some good stores, some bad stores, and some great stores. And tonight, we're going to discuss... Uh, our favorites, and I uh, hope you have some of them in your area. If not, sorry. Also, by the way, two stores of the same type might be completely different. They might still sell the same type of things, but some of the points we're going to make are specific to the stores we've been to, so take this with a grain of salt. <laughs> okay. It's, well, a, it's a well bit said. biased. Not, I don't want to say biased, but specific. So we went and we rated each store um, with a couple of categories. That was including uh, the selection, the uh, price, of course, which is a, a big consideration for most people, especially these days. Uh, the staff, uh, sometimes we've which had... Which is a, a bit specific to each store and also changing. Right. Uh, we, we realized that... Well, more like, it's not the individual people. It's more like how the store... Trains the people. Yeah. Um, sometimes... We've had some good results, sometimes we've had some bad results, and so we threw that in with our judging system of uh, zero to five stars. We also uh, included uh, the uh, hours that the stores are open. Um, some stores are open pretty much seven days a week. One of the stores is uh, closed wow. one of those days, which uh, in our opinion is a 50-50. And then uh, the final category is uh, improvisation, which for us is if we can't find the item we're looking for, can we find something else to make do? You know, uh, if they don't have the brand of paint we're looking for, can we get you know the same color? Or you know, if we're looking for a paper or wood product, can we find something that we can you know basically improvise with? The first store, um, not a big fan of this place. We used to go there a lot, um, but over the years and over the months, and especially lately, um, they've gone downhill especially in comparison to the other stores we go to. That store is Michael's. A lot of you probably really like that store. Maybe your only option. Hopefully, after we go through this, you'll see it some other... It is the biggest craft store in America. Um, hopefully, when we're done with this list, you'll be able to look at some other stores in a, in a new light and maybe add them to your weekly shopping trips. Uh, Michael's, we gave basically an okay rating. Basically, two out of five stars overall. Um, they are really, lately, um, it could just be a lately thing, that their their stock is, is really low. The people there really don't seem to care. Um, their prices are the most expensive in the business. But that kind of makes sense, considering it is the biggest. Yeah, but, you know, when you're right next to a place like Walmart, uh, it doesn't really make sense to hike up the prices on everything. What do you think of the place? You've been there. I haven't been there in so long I don't remember anything about it. Okay. So I have nothing to we say We used to get your clay there pretty much exclusively. Yeah, and, and then like some that. other stores opened. Yeah, exactly. Even though some stores that aren't, they're still good, but they're more like the dollar stores. They just have a bunch of random party stuff that is actually some of the most useful. But we'll get to that later. Next on the list is Hobby Lobby. Um, personally, I actually really like this store a lot. Um, they've got a great selection. They've got really good prices, and if you print yourself off some of the 40% off coupons, uh, definitely makes makes a, a for a good trip overall. Uh, the staff is always really nice. Um, unfortunately, they're only open six days a week and being closed on Sundays. Sometimes the weekend is when we do a lot of our shopping, so it kind of, you know forces us to have to go on a Saturday, which, you know, can jam-pack our weekend. Um, and improvisation is pretty good. I did get one thing, which might even be the subject of a few videos. Mm -hmm. Maybe not this month, maybe next month. Yeah, yeah. Depending on a certain factor. They do, they, you know, they're very similar to Michael's in a lot of they're respects. Almost the, they almost, they pretty much have the same selection. Yeah, um, but the prices are better, the coupon makes it better, um, the people there are nicer. And uh, overall, it, I'm just going to put it above Michael's. Uh, I probably honestly won't ever go to Michael's again unless I absolutely have to. 
Um, yeah, I haven't been there in so long. I, don't I, I know you like the store, right? I think I did. I did, but yeah. I didn't no, know no. any other store. Oh. No, Hobby Lobby. Oh, yeah, store good. Me like. Me like. <laughs> they've, got a, they've got a nice uh, toy section, and I believe this week they've got a 40 or 50% off on all their model kits. So you can pretty much guarantee we're going to hit that store. But that's again only the one we went to. No, all all the all the there's a, a monthly weekly flyer that they send out on the internet. Oh. And all their model kits are 40 50 percent off. So um, we're going to go do some shopping. Cool. Very cool. Yes. Ninety nine cent stores. Don't know if you guys have them. Maybe you have something similar. Like uh, the ninety nine cent store. The actual the, the no the actual ninety nine cent store. Um, they've got a decent selection. Um, not the best, but, you know, we go there for other stuff. So we always, you know, end up picking up stuff that just happens to be usable one way or another. Let um, me say something. Go ahead. Um, because it's the most popular of the dollar stores, which I, it's not really a dollar store, but it, it's labeled as a dollar store. Right. Um, it, because it's the most popular, I've noticed that it has the highest Prices, I know that's strange for a dollar store, but... Yeah, they do have some things that are actually a lot more than 99 cents. The uh, the selection, like I said, is, is decent. But the prices thinking... are, you know, either really good or, you know, we're like <laughs> expecting to pay 99 cents and it's but, 4 or 5 99 but, but dollar stores are often the cheapest. Yeah, absolutely. Because the... they, can, they almost never have something above $10. Right, right. The staff is okay. You know, they're, they're overworked. Um, I'm, I'm going to, you know, con consider that. You know, every time we go, the store is crazy packed with people. Um, good side, they are always open. And their improvisational abilities for us, we can, you know, find stuff. Uh, we do actually... We did uh, find the lights, though. At the 99 cent store? I'm pretty sure we found the lights at a 99, or you found them. Nine, yeah, you did. Because remember, we went to the 99 cent store and you were looking for... Oh, yeah, that's where I got the first purple lights. That's correct. And their improvisational abilities, like I said, is, is pretty good because they have a lot of different products there. And uh, um, Sometimes it's, the, it's not the best. It's uh, an average. Right. Depending right. on which store you go fair to. Fair to good. Um, one thing I will note with the 99 cent stores that we, we do uh, rely on is the makeup brushes for dry brushing. That's where I tend to get all of them, whether individually or on uh, you know yeah, part of a package deal you know and I end up not using a couple of them but then uh, you know uh, they'll come in useful for something else um, so we gave them a fair to good rating Walmart Walmart is probably the biggest store in the United States I think the entire planet at this point <laughs> if we gave them a rating of good uh, they've got a good selection when it's available Right now, their craft supplies, especially the paint, is it's a ghost town. Um, you know, everybody, yeah, everybody's been you know stuck at home, so they're finding things to do. So it's only natural that their paints are going to be really low stock. The brushes, for months recently, were completely paint, no paint brushes whatsoever. Even though we did get some of the color changing paints in the neon. That was recently, and that was a big plus because we'd never seen those before. And that was actually a real nice, pleasant surprise. Uh, they got great prices. It's Walmart. That's why they're who they are. The staff is, uh, you know. It's a Walmart. Yeah, they, they really don't care. They, they really don't care. If they don't have something, they're not going to go look for it. Um, they'd rather, you know, uh, again, not have to deal with customers. You know, there's like two cashiers in the entire store. But that is kind of expected for such a big store. That's the way it's going. And it's not really a craft store. It's just a store. And of course, they're always open and open even later than anybody else. So if you need something and it's, you know, 9 o'clock at night, that's where you're going to end up going. The improvisational abilities is probably top-notch because they sell so many different things for so many different reasons. And, of course, you know, you can't get Pringles at... Wait, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Pringles. I forgot. You, you use those as a paint? We use the Pringle lids for... Uh, our palettes, and we use the Pringles themselves as food, as 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 fuel. They uh, want that's a strange way to put it. Eating yeah, things, gamer fuel. Oh God, no, please. Okay. Why did you say that? So all in all, I give them a good rating. Finally, we come to uh, Dollar, Dollar Tree. Dollar stores. 
Dollar Tree and Dollar General, you may have different names in your location, uh, but they usually have a green logo, green words, and the sign. Uh, if you see that, you're, you're, you're in for a pleasant surprise. That's where we've been getting most of our lights for our previous videos. We get Actually, all of them, but that single purple one. Also, let me say something. Go, 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 go ahead. I'm pretty sure most places have an equivalent of what dollar stores are. They probably have different names for different currencies. Cause yeah, I think they're called a pound store in the UK. Yeah? Well, which I is, don't know. Which is actually way more expensive, but well... we'll that doesn't really yeah. matter. Um, but the thing is... They probably, because what they sell, they just buy a bunch of random party supplies and sell them each for very low prices. So you can go there, you can find, just, you can find, oh, not everything. Like, most of them don't have paint and stuff, even yeah, though one of them did. Do. One of them did. Yeah. But on average, they don't. Or at least, maybe they do, but... Yeah, they actually, um, the, the Dollar Tree and the Dollar General store that we go to actually have a really cool... Uh, craft aisle. It's like both sides of the aisle, all kinds of crafts that really look like they were previously sold at maybe Walmart or Michaels or something like that, and they didn't sell, so they shoot them over to uh, Dollar Tree and Dollar General. They, they buy them up. Uh, the stores are great for uh, like um, holiday items. We found not just the Christmas lights and the Halloween lights, but some Halloween decorations are really, really good for. Uh, you know, crafting and, and, and uh, kit bashing, if you will, um, coming up with new ideas. Our crafts, the crafts for this month, we pretty much all of them, well, we're doing something this week, but the other three crafts we're doing this month pretty much all came from that store. Yep, yep. The, you, most of you know, of, I don't, the most basic skeletons that are used for Halloween decorations. Those are really good for stuff, as well as these spiders, but we'll get into that in a few weeks. So like I said, they've got a, a, a really good selection. they got great prices because almost everything in the store is a dollar. Sometimes, you know, like, like 99 cent store, they have a little bit more expensive items. For bigger items? Yeah, for, you know, things that are actually worth more than a dollar. Um, the staff is really nice. Uh, they actually uh, helped us out the last time we went. Um, and clued us into an even bigger version of their, their store that we're hopefully going to hit up real soon. Um, they, they're always open seven days a week. They may close at 7, 8 o'clock uh, at night, but, you know, that's, that's pretty typical almost everywhere you go. And with, you know, improvisation, uh, they've got... Pretty much the best. Yeah, well, they're not... I think Walmart's the best. But they do have, they do have a lot of different things. Um, that you can you you know substitute this for that, but with their their craft aisle, with you know sure the paints aren't Vallejo, but if you're doing terrain, you, you don't want to use Vallejo. If you're you know experimenting or learning, again you don't want to go with the best paints, but things like craft sticks, pipe cleaners, um, you know cardstock, foam board, just so many different things they have that you know every crafter is going to use. Um, so for me, Dollar Tree slash Dollar General is top of the list for us when we are looking for our crafting materials. Sure, there's, you know, things like pre-made trees and, you know, modeling kits and, and railroad accessories that you might want to use. Um, you, you, yeah, you're going to want to go somewhere else. You may even want to go to an actual hobby store where you will pay the most you can possibly pay. But all in all, um, our, our, our new preference is Dollar Tree, Dollar General. Um, yes. Anything else to add to that? Uh, no, other than uh, these are obviously very... They're not every store of different of the same brand will be exactly the same. Good point. Especially with uh, some of them, like the... I mean, not the prices, but the staff and the, the selection... Well, maybe not the selection, but how much you'll find that selection. Right, right. With, if it's, like, out of stock, though that changes depending on where you are or, like, where the store is located and other factors depend on certain things. But certain things kind of... Are up and down depending on where you live, where you, 
you know, the time of because year. Because no store is exactly the same. Right. And Some stores are extremely small, while others are like three times as big. Yes. One last thing. Uh, we do a lot of uh, uh, sourcing of local raw materials as opposed to buying craft sand or, or flocking sand. We, we get that locally, um, either go to the beach. Other than grass. Yeah, we do buy flocking because that's that's just, you know, that's the way to go. You, you can make your own, but you, if your time is meaningless, then that's the way to go. But if you if you want it to look right and, and you don't want to spend a weekend trying to make up a bunch of green sawdust, go out and, you know, and buy the flock. But things like sand, rocks, and twigs, we get them all locally. We've never paid for them. We never will. I'm never going to make styrofoam rocks unless I need really big ones. But if I need rocks, I'm going to use rocks. They help keep your miniatures more stable, your scenery a little sta more stable as well. If you're worried about, you know, your scenery being too heavy, can't help you there. But we always go with natural ingredients when we can. Rocks, twigs, and sand. They, they look good. They also, for us as a family, we, you know, we usually pick that sort of stuff up, you know, to remember the area we're at. You know, if we go to someplace special, we went to a water park and managed to swipe some rocks from there, uh, sand at the beach. If we're hiking or something like that and we see some cool twigs, roots, or, or bark, <coughs> bark's another good one you can use for a lot of things. So we'll get natural ingredients where we find them. I uh, hope this video was helpful for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. Give us a thumbs up, comments, and uh, we'll have something really cool for you Thursday. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> I'm it's, really not. It's a little bit difficult craft for us, but we finally figured out how to do it. Hope you enjoy it. You still don't? Okay. Well. You haven't told me. Well, okay. Well. I'm, I'm just not looking forward to it. Okay. Well, it's going to be fun. And uh, <laughs> it, it's actually uh, uh, inspired by a comment I made in the Dungeons and Lasers comment section. And uh, I'll leave it at that. So we'll see you guys uh, Thursday. Have a great week. Thanks for stopping by. Goodbye. And this has been Shadow and Sun, and you have watched a video on YouTube, most likely. Bye.